I tell you what, one man's trash really is another man's treasure. Let's get some rail, Simon. Let's do some rails. We are going to be putting rails over the top of the mesh that we've just put in. We've also got brand new rails that we are going to be putting onto the mesh that we put up before. This post is curved and we've got the mesh on that side. But as you can see, because it's also higgledy piggledy, it is a bit, it's tight in the middle, loose on the top, like this. So I'm thinking, if the post is on this side it's on a flat side and we can also pull this back and pin it to the rail all the way along i tell you what it is so much easier to do these kinds of things when you've put the post in yourself because you know that your posts are straight that they're in far enough that they're not going to be wobbling around all over the place but like i've said before we're using what we have and yeah, we're on a budget, so this is as good as we can do at the minute. And plus, look how far out this post is. That's what we're working with, it's difficult. But it really is, fantastic learning curve. It's great to be learning all these new skills. Neither of us have done anything like this before, so it's super. Nothing is straight. No, it's solid. So that's the first one in. Really, really happy actually, because we've been able to use the screws that we salvaged from taking the old roof off the stable. How good is that? I do like to recycle. Rustic, Simon, it's rustic. Is that gonna be all right to there? I'm absolutely loving this. Recycled screws, recycled wood. It's making it look super. It was all free. <laughs> I love things that are free. I tell you what, one man's trash really is another man's treasure. When we picked up this wood, it did look like an absolute pile of, well, firewood. But we could see that there were quite a few posts that were quite good and a few rails that were really quite good and this is what we've been able to do with it so that's amazing i think it's making a real difference already and remember this isn't going to be pushed on by any of the horses it's only to keep the dogs in and we've only got small dogs so this is more aesthetically pleasing than uh functional but it will tighten up the mesh at the top so yeah serves a purpose it's great thank god I actually think that that will work out like perfectly. Because look, it overruns exactly to the length of, of the end of there. It doesn't need cutting or anything. I'm going to put the tack 
legs into the meshing at the back now so that will really tighten all that up and the best thing is we've left an overhang where the brambles are so we can tack the mesh to that and then weave the brambles through so that's absolutely perfect for what i was thinking see how everything just works out exactly how it's meant to it is day two and it is freezing we are going to be sorting out the mesh in the smaller areas that we haven't got round to doing yet so the first one is this one and it's the angled piece that goes up to the main fence post in the field next door only problem we've got is that it's on such an angle so we're going to put our rails on today and angle them so that it races our fence off that first post and then we'll also be able to tack the mesh to the rails Let's see how that works out then. Think that's enough, yep. It's so hard to get the mesh to go into the corners and bend round and yeah and we've been left with a gap about that big just at the bottom let me show you that we knew that we'd be left with a gap but to have such a small gap hmm, that's really quite frustrating so what we're going to do now is we are going to put the rails on I do love it when it's got the rails on looks amazing over there so i know it's going to look amazing here Well, that's the first one in. Super duper. Move on to the second. Mm, that smells wonderful. give us uh, 90 internal. So Simon's cut the two rails at 45 degree angles so that they'll fit at a 90 degree angle. So what we're going to do now is put them on the corner and then we're going to join the two ends together. Oh, it'll be like a seamless joint. really are the hardest bits to do.
The last one in and it fitted like a glove so let's have a look all the way around now all we've got to do is tack the mesh onto the back of the rails and that's how it's completely done 